Hey guys, Tcrack17 here again, and today I'm doing a bit of a different video. It's a redstone tutorial on uh, block swappers. Basically, um, I, I think these things are, are a little underused, to be honest, especially in in builds like this. This is nothing special. I, I just threw this together to demonstrate. Uh, we've got a little little sort of dungeon here, um, and yeah, the, the thing with with block swappers. That, that I really like is obviously we can have toggleable lighting which is always really cool and and with builds like this I always tend to find that you get all the stone and and this is the same for sort of like a modern build if you have like a, an iron iron block room with loads of um, sea lanterns and stuff as your lighting I tend to find that looks rubbish um, let's pop that there no that doesn't work either and it's i find it really difficult to find a good place to put a cra crafting bench so why not just hide it in the floor um there's three designs of block swapper that i'm going to go through so there's a floor based uh swapper there's a wall based uh, swapper here uh, which you can use for lighting or you know you could always use that for a crafting bench as well so I can stick that there oh whoops uh, yeah there we go so we could hide crafting benches in the wall the other thing that I did kind of think of which which might be pretty cool is uh, you could use say a stair block or half slab or something like that and have a hidden chest uh, which would work so if you imagine that uh, this level here is floor level um, then you could have say a chest there if we have a chest there um, and then swap this block to like stairs or half slab and then you can access the chest there which i think would be would would be really cool and the, the final one before i continue waffling is a ceiling based swapper now they're all pretty much the same they all work in the same way um so let's hop over into the outside and i'll show you how these things are put together see you guys in a moment Okay guys, so uh, this is a nice, easy, resource-friendly thing to build. Uh, so this is going to be the ground-based block swapper, first of all. Uh, and what we're going to need is one button or input of any kind, three redstone torches, one crafting table or light source or whatever it is that you want to swap, one floor tile. Uh, how whatever you want your floor to be made out of two pistons one sticky piston two redstone repeaters two bits of redstone dust and some blocks of your choice um, three of those for your redstone wiring so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to mark out a space that's three by five uh, three blocks by five blocks and it needs to be three blocks deep so we're just going to dig that out here and we'll get started so the first bit we need to decide is which side of this we want our block to be swapped on now it's going to be in the middle um, in the middle of the five length uh, side so we want our block to be coming up here over this side so what we do is we stick one redstone wiring block there one there one there uh, what we want to do is pop a redstone torch onto each of them right now from this redstone torch we want to take the signal into those blocks so that these tor these two torches here turn off on top of those just here we want to stick our two pistons and right in the middle opposite on the far wall we want our sticky piston like this and that should shoot straight up now all we need to do is pop a bit of redstone dust on one of these two here you may find that it only works on one side so you might want to test uh, it might be that if you let's say we put our flooring there and our crafting table there and we'll just test this very quickly right so that swaps that way 
Right, you see how that's not working? So all we need to do is take that redstone dust there, pop it on there, and that starts working again. Okay, to finish this off, we want redstone dust there. Just above it, we pop one more block with a button. Now, as I say, you can you can run any sort of input into this. So you could, if you if you wanted to, you could sort of dig down and you know run this to here and then have like a, a pressure plate or something there. Um, or you could you could you know um, link these all up together. That's that's not a problem. But for for this, we're just going to stick to that. So if we test that again, yep, that swaps. That swaps. So all we need to do is fill in all of our floor here. And we have a working block swapper there. Okay, now what I've done, um, I'll try and pop the world download into, um, into the description, is here we've got each layer. So this is the bottom layer, once we've got it dug out here. Um, as you can see, we've got our three blocks, we've got our, our repeaters, we've got our torches and our sticky piston. Um, in the next section, We've got that build as well, and all we've done is added in one bit of redstone and the two regular pistons here. And then finally, in this third one, we've just added in our floor block, our crafting table, and our input. So again, that should work just fine. Uh, and all I've done is not filled in the floor. But uh, as we can see here, that fills in nice and easily. Okay guys, so the next one is going to be our wall swapper. So what we want to do first of all is, you know, build ourselves a wall. Now you probably already have one uh, here somewhere in like your base or something like that. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to identify which, which section is going to be replaced by the swapper. And then what we want to do is once we've got that is we want to come around to the back. Um, you can break it any way you want. Uh, we want to place a sticky piston one block away, just there, and underneath that we want a redstone torch. Okay, now what we also want is a block to either side, is we want our regular pistons like so. Okay, um, once we've done that, um, it's exactly the same wiring as the floor based one, other than this sticky piston is above directly above this torch here uh, and we don't need uh, and we want it facing towards the wall so from this torch we have a repeater coming out that way a repeater coming out that way again into two blocks each block will have a redstone torch on it so we'll pop these there and again, one of these two, uh, we're not sure which one yet, uh, is going to have to have redstone dust on it. So we'll put it on this one, see if that works. Uh, right, it's up against the wall there now. So what we want to do is pop our crafting table on there. We'll come round to this side here. And then what we want to do is feed in a line into that redstone torch there. So we'll put that there. We'll fill in this block here pop our button on here and again you can have any sort of input but this should work there we go right okay so that's not working we've tested that so what we want to do is pop the redstone dust on the opposite side here and then this should work no problem again nice easy simple block swapper I think it, it can make you know all sorts of walls and, and whatnot look a lot lot easier again what I've done is uh, without digging down this time is I've done it layer by layer so we're going to want this bit in here and obviously you know you can I keep saying you can put this input wherever you might want it the next layer here and then the final layer just on here there we go Right, now the last one is a little bit different, uh, so I will just get all that set up and I'll join you guys again in a second. 
Okay guys, and it's now we've done these two, it's time for the last one. So the first thing we need to do is build ourselves a bit of a, a ceiling. Um, bear in mind, all of these uh, all of these designs actually take up roughly about the same amount of space. So you, they're all fairly compact and you can always hook them up together and everything like that. That's not a problem. So there we go. Next things we need to do is let's pick... I want that to be an odd number to keep things central. Let's pick what which block we want to swap. And I think it's going to be this one here. So first thing we need to do is pop in our two pistons here and here. OK, and then I think with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to use a light source like this. OK, next thing. We want to have a sticky piston uh, in the centre, one block up, so that obviously when it pushes things down, it's going to be flush. Let's come up. Yeah, so when it pushes the blocks down, it's going to be flush with the ceiling. So we can get rid of that. Next bit, we want our redstone torch now this one is slightly different so we want a block either side here and then we want to go up a block both sides like a so okay then what we want is a redstone torch over this piston a redstone torch over this piston and our repeaters coming out like this okay now that is pretty much all done we want, as with the last one, um, I think it's this side, we want that on there. And then when we come down to the bottom, we can select our input, which I think should be, no, nope, should be there. And when we hit this button, no. What we need to do, my bad, is we want a bit of redstone there, which will power this block here and unpower the torch. So we hit our button. And our light source comes out, and it's hidden. Okay, so all three designs are pretty much exactly the same. So as you can see, you have a main power, uh, a main torch which powers the sticky piston. Uh, it will always have two repeaters coming out into blocks which unpower another two torches with regular pistons. Uh, one side will always have redstone dust on it and only one side otherwise this won't work um, and a lot of the differences here are literally the orientation of this sticky piston whether it's facing up down or to the side and once again I have done it in stages over here so as you can see the brown clay indicates the uh, the ceiling swapper the green clay indicates the wall swapper and the cyan clay indicates the floor swapper so as i say i'll try and put a link in the description for this any questions or if you know of any more compact or, or more uh you know more efficient designs let me know but that's it we have three different uh, block swappers one for the floor one for a wall and one for the ceiling as i say i think these things are massively underused especially when you're you know you're struggling to fit certain blocks whether it's light sources or whether it's just crafting benches or things like that uh, and they can also be used for um for um what's it called for hidden hidden blocks so what i was going to show you actually is give me a moment here we go, and this is what I was thinking of uh, in terms of uh, hidden chests. So we can hide a chest here, we can swap that with an upside down uh, staircase, and we have access to our chest, and then we want to hide it away. Nobody would know that it's there. 
this is just for demonstration purposes so you know you could have any sort of input here uh, it doesn't really matter this is just so it's easy for me to show you how it's working um, so thanks for watching uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe uh, give me any suggestions for better ways of doing these I really like these I, I, I try to incorporate these into into my builds when uh, when it's appropriate because you know sometimes things just stick out and they don't look quite right so why not why not hide things away um, not necessarily for security i just think they look pretty cool so let's hide this up here um yeah so again i'll try and put this in the world in this world download in the description thanks for watching and i'll see you again next time bye bye